Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, heart disease is a condition that affects many here in our community and in the greater Baton Rouge area. Almost everybody is touched by it in some way, and there's a lot of great work being done by the American Heart Association. They're behind Go Red for Women, and here to tell us all about both of those is Dr. Tara Jaro. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Thank you for having me. Such a, a prevalent condition here in, in the United States in general, but definitely here in Louisiana. I mean, talk to me a little bit about the impact of heart disease. Um, heart, heart disease has profound impact. Um, it's the number one killer in women, and I think that's a, a big, big part of it. The, the Go Red for Women um, increases awareness of heart disease in women. Um, so I think it's... So tell me a little bit, I mean, obviously, this is something that everyone needs to look out for. I mean, what are some of the warning signs of heart disease that we need to be aware of? So some of the warning signs are chest pain, shortness of breath, swelling in the legs. You can, these can be early warning signs of a heart attack. So that's something that obviously if you see anything like that going on, I mean, it's really important to pay attention to that as early as you can. Right? Absolutely. You have to listen to your body. Uh, things that you normally could do, such as walking, if that starts getting difficult, you start getting chest pain that radiates to the neck or jaw or down the arms. That's something that you definitely need to let your doctor know about. You mentioned it was the number one killer of women. Why is that? Um, I think part of the problem is that it's underdiagnosed and undertreated. Hmm. Women don't think they're patients and they don't think there's anything wrong with them, so they tend to downplay their symptoms. Um, so they uh, seek medical attention later than men. Um, also, um, they just the awareness is not that, that, like it should be. So I think by increasing awareness, we can let people know. So uh, what, what is, then is the first step in preventing heart disease? I think knowing your risk factors is the uh, you know, first and foremost, um, you have to be aware of what risk you are to develop heart disease. You know, family history is a big one. We can't choose our family, uh, our <laughs> parents, unfortunately. But knowing your numbers, knowing what your cholesterol is, um, keeping your risk factors in check, high blood pressure, diabetes, all of those are very important. Well, I know you touched on it briefly earlier. Go Red for Women is a great effort that you're making to help sort of, you know, get people involved and make them aware and educate them about that. Tell me a little bit more about that. So the Go Red for Women is part of the American Heart Association um, that increases uh, awareness. They develop, they raise money for research um, in heart disease, and I think it's a it's a great it's a great program. Uh, I know this time of year you have a lot of things going on, lots of exciting events that are related to that. I mean, if people want to get involved in that or take part in that, what do they need to do? Uh, they can contact their local American Heart Association. Uh, February is a Heart Awareness Month. We have our upcoming uh, luncheon um, that raises money for the American Heart Association, the Go Red for Women campaign. So there's definitely ways to get involved, a volunteer. Well, we definitely need to have everybody out there get involved in that. I mean, talk to me a little bit about, you know, obviously you're a cardiologist, mm -hmm. you're a woman. This is something, this is a cause that's near and dear to your heart, pardon okay. the awful pun. Uh, I mean, tell me a little bit about some of the um, effect this has had on you being able to do this kind of work. Well, I went into cardiology because of my strong family history. It's one of the things that inspired me to, to be able to do more. Um, so I think that uh, being a woman, I can relate more to some of the problems that females have um, and listening to what their complaints are and getting the right diagnosis and treatment is uh, key. Thanks so much for coming on and telling Thank us all you very about much. it. Good luck with Go Red for Women. Thank you very much. Well, you know them for physical therapy here in the greater Baton Rouge area, but did you think of exercise as medicine? It's called Peak Our Exercise. Take a look. My background is for the last 35 years has been in fitness and wellness, and my mission has been to help people enjoy a better quality of life through lifestyle change. Our Exercise is an individualized fitness program. Rx is actually prescription, Rx, our exercise. We do a very comprehensive functional assessment. That functional assessment, what I'm looking for, what the exercise specialist is looking for, is to see about your balance, to see about a muscle weaknesses, to see, for example, your body mass index, body composition. It's not just about how much you weigh, but what kind of body weight you're carrying. We also look at your blood work. I'm a great believer of fitness from inside out. We also have what we call medical wellness. Medical wellness is a program that actually can help with lifestyle change, can help improve your health. All our staff have at least a four-year degree in exercise or health sciences. They know how to work with physical therapists, they know how to work with nutritionists, and they know how to work with doctors. Most people, for example, are intimidated in a health club environment because they feel that they do not fit. So how do we attract them? First and foremost, we provide an environment that's very comfortable for them. They see people just like themselves. Obesity is a national epidemic. 
and uh, because of obesity, which basically means that we're at least 20 to 30 pounds over our acceptable weight. When you're carrying too much body weight, you live a, a stressful lifestyle, and you're eating uh, a poor diet, that all adds up, and that adds up to obesity. I would started through the recommendation of my family physician. Uh, weight was just getting entirely out of hand, and this, the general physical condition was tired all the time, the usual when you're carrying extremely too much weight. I'm in better shape now than I was 30 years ago. I'm 54. Uh, uh, goal, the weight, one part of it, I will be at the end of this year, I will be as light as I was when I got married and my 30th anniversary is this June. Since I started the program, I've lost 162 pounds. Now I carried it different, people carry weight different and I always knew I was overweight, but I've lost that much. It helps me emotionally, mentally, you're just in a better frame of mind. When I first started this program, I was on a, a cholesterol medication, two different types of blood pressure medication. One was in the evening, one was in the morning. The last year I'd gotten down to where the blood pressure medication starting late last year was cut in half and now I'm only on a cholesterol medication now. The exercises have um, just, they've increased the performance of my body with, with the weight loss. That's why I like coming to this program. It's a constant support. And that's what you'll get at our exercise. I got involved with our exercise through recommendation of my physician. I was having some health issues. I, uh, I was out digging in the garden one day and I was started getting out of breath and you know real tired and having some a little bit of chest pain. So I went to my cardiologist and found out I had you know 85% blockage and uh, ended up getting three stents. So you know along with that I had uh, pre-diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, you know all the stuff that you get when you get a little older and you you're not taking care of yourself properly. Through the program, I guess I've been here a little bit over a year, maybe a year and a half. I've uh, lost over 40 pounds. Uh, I'm no longer pre-diabetic. I've gotten off some of the uh, medications as far as the high blood pressure. I'll be 55 in a, in a month, so. And uh, yeah, I feel a whole lot better, just a lot less aches and pains. I'm probably feeling as good as I have since, uh, you know, 30 years old. I'm in my younger life. I was a little more athletic and feeling a lot better, but you know, you get you get lazy and you don't exercise and you just get out of shape and next thing you know you're in a doctor's office about to have a heart attack. Fortunately I didn't have a heart attack and I don't think I'm going to now. Well if you're overweight, you're feeling any of you know, the, you've got the uh, heart issues like I did or maybe you've got high blood pressure, high cholesterol, I think our exercise is, is an excellent place to come because of the attention you get and the medical testing, uh, you know they monitor you and give you the individual attention of where you need to go to, to reach your goals. And I feel like I've done that, and uh, I feel like I'm gonna get even better. If you want more information, we've got our website, phone, the number on the screen, and you're gonna get all the information that you need to get you started. When we come back on Across Louisiana, find out all about the new ReStore and more coming up next.